Hi, I'm Danny with Steel Rubber Products. One of the coolest things about old cars is all the style that they have. And one of those style features is the vent window. The weather stripping on vent windows go bad all the time. They crack, they peel whenever you try to open them up, they fall apart, you don't even want to use the window. And they're a little bit intimidating to work on. How you take it out of the door, how you take the glass out of the frame. So we have several different styles of vent window here. They've got kinds that are held together with bolts, some with rivets. So we're going to show you how to take those apart, put new weather stripping in, and get your car looking good. So the first step you're going to want to do to replace your vent window rubber is take the vent window frame out of the door. To do this, it's all pretty much the same basic steps no matter what car you're working on. On this El Camino, you need to remove the door skin, undo a couple bolts down here, and then one down here that runs through this run channel. We'll need to remove our crank handle. There's a couple Phillips head screws right here and then the whole frame comes out. We've got a couple that are already out, so we'll show you what they're like on the bench. So the tools you're gonna need for this job are pretty simple. You're gonna need a wrench for some of the bolts that you run into, a plastic tuck tool for whenever you're actually installing the rubber, a screwdriver for any Phillips heads, and a pair of pliers is always helpful. And of course, anytime you're working with rubber, some steel brand soapy water is always good. So when I say a different type of vent window, what I'm referring to is how the pivots are set up. So this one has a bolt outside of the vent window frame. You can access it from the actual outside of the car. So similar to the El Camino, this one's off of a Corvair. We can just undo this bolt and this one down here, take the actual glass frame out of the vent window frame, and then we can remove the rubber. So for this one, the first thing we'll do is remove this bolt up here for the upper pivot. And then this bolt down here for the lower. And as I remove that, I'll remove the washer and spring. And then the vent window frame turns and slides out. So for vent windows, they are vehicle specific. You can see this one here aligns just with this one. Uh, has the same grooves and everything that the original has and it'll fit just perfectly. So this one's just held in with tension so it can be removed real easy. And the other one will slide into place and we'll tuck this ridge into the channel. A lot of people ask about the rubber inside of this frame. And we do supply this. I'll put a link to it down in the description. It's not vehicle specific, but we do have it if you're wanting to change out the rubber that's actually between the metal and the glass. So the vent window is actually only held in with tension. The frame is kind of like a C and inside the vent window, there's a ridge that it's going to hold on to. So we'll tuck that in there and that'll be basically all that holds it into place. So whenever you have the vent window frame out, this is also the best time to replace this run channel for your door glass. This one's held in with a rivet up top and down at the bottom. So you can just drill those out. That'll come right off and we have the replacement run channel for that. So for this vent window frame, You need to start where the pivots are, make sure those are lined up, and then work your way out. And you'll feel it snap into place whenever it's there. And you'll basically continue this process all the way around until the entire vent window is in there. So now that we've got the rubber back in the frame, you can see it looks a lot better. Everything lines up just like it originally did, and it's gonna seal a lot better, look a lot better. The division post is real easy. It just sets in the rubber, and then attaches through here with a couple rivets. 
Some have tabs that come through the channel and bend over. It just depends on how they're attached. But for now, we're going to show you that the vent window itself goes in just the way it came out. Turn 90 degrees through the bottom hole. And then we'll line up our upper pivot section. We'll throw the bolt in there, put the spring and nut back on the bottom section, and we'll be good to go. So now that this vent window is done, it's going to seal up a lot better. Of course, if it had some glass in it. And uh, we'll show you how these other two come apart. All right, so this one's a little bit different. As you can see, the shape and everything. This one's off of a 59 Impala. But the basic principles are going to be the same. One of the biggest differences is that upper pivot point is not exposed on the outside, the back, or anything like that. So once you take this one out of the door, the spring actually holds this one up. So you remove the spring, it drops down, and the other pivot just comes straight out, and then you can remove it. So this one was held in with a few screws on the back side of this, so we remove those. There's actually metal inside the rubber, and this comes out just like that. So this is the one we're replacing it with. As you can see, it's an exact copy of the original. And just like that other one, it goes back in just the way that one came out. That slides into place. This pushes up into the top. And then we can set our screws. Now that we've got our rubber in, the glass goes in just the same way it came out. Turn it 90 degrees and press down until it pops into that pivot place. So this is another type of vent window. It's the same concept. You can see the pivot point is in this bar right here, but it's going to be the same way to take it apart. Take off this bolt and spring, it drops down take it out of the frame, replace the rubber, and then put it back in the same way you took it out. We have hundreds of different types of vent window seals on our website, steelrubber.com, and it's a little bit of work, but it can make your car look a hundred times better. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit that little bell so you get a notification whenever we upload a new video to our YouTube channel. Seal to steel.